Being able to manage a colostomy efficiently makes an enormous difference to one's life. Colostomates who are able to irrigate feel far more confident, in control and positive about their stoma than they did prior to being taught this method of bowel management. Every one of my permanent colostomy patients was introduced to the alternative of irrigation. And there are countless people from our own staff and the Colostomy Association, Sue Hatton and others, who will tell you that their life has been changed by irrigating the colostomy. In 1997, I had to have a permanent colostomy at the age of 46 due to bowel cancer. I was very fortunate that my surgeon was Professor Bill Heald and his stoma care nurse was Sister Anne Lappington Clark, to whom this DVD is dedicated. Prior to surgery, Professor Bill and Sister Anne had discussed my suitability as someone who could irrigate. The benefits of this method of bowel management are immeasurable. I've been able to be so confident, so in control of my stoma, I dictate to it when I want to irrigate. Uh, there's no set pattern, there's no set time that you have to do it. If you're going out in the evening, you can get it cracking before you disappear to do something wonderful. Um, and it just gives you this incredible feeling of self-confidence. Since 2009, through our Tidings magazine, I have written a page on irrigation. The Colostomy Association knows that there are many colostomates who have never heard of this procedure, and we are encouraging them to seek advice from their stoma nurses and their surgeons to see if their stoma has been formed with a view to um, proceeding with this method of bowel management. We hope that this DVD will act as a reliable teaching tool and that stoma nurses will be encouraged to teach their patients and to give them an option of irrigation as a way of bowel management. So some people living with a colostomy tell me that they've never been offered colostomy irrigation by their stoma care nurses. Why do you think this will be? I think often it's difficult to judge when the best time to discuss irrigation. If it's a planned operation, ideally it'd be great to be talking to patients about irrigation preoperatively. So how do I determine which of my patients would be suitable for irrigation? Anyone with enough large bowel and an end colostomy is suitable for stoma irrigation. Um, they have to have good dexterity and um, good eyesight because of the equipment they're going to be managing to irrigate with. We have to remember that pa any patients with any renal or cardiac impairment, there's a risk of potential fluid overload, so we wouldn't recommend irrigation for those patients. Mm. And also any patients that have active bowel disease, such as Crohn's, diverticular. We've talked in the past about you trying some colostomy irrigation. Have you thought any more about that? I've thought a bit about it, but I'd like a bit more information and maybe to look at some of the equipment needed. OK. Just on the desk here, I've got the irrigation kit that we would use. Mm -hmm. It comes in a wash bag. OK, right. so it's, it's discreet. Nobody's going to know what's in here. Mm -hmm. OK, and it all folds away really nicely into this. OK. First of all, we've got the irrigation water bag, which is what's going to hold the water that's then going to be irrigated into your stoma. Mm -hmm. Okay, that looks like this. Now, it's got two litres in here. You're not going to be putting two litres of water into you. Okay. okay? Um, we would hang this in the bathroom, sort of above your head, so because it's all done with gravity. Okay, so... The bag has been filled with just slightly more than 500 mils of water because we're going to prime the line because you shouldn't put the cone into your stoma without there being water in this line because we don't want to push air into your bowel, okay? okay. So what we're going to do is we put the cone over the, over the, do you want to hold it? Okay. So put the cone over the, over the sink and we've got this wheel 
wheel here and when we lift the regulator up and down the, this will spin and that will tell you how quickly the water is going to go into your bow. So you just move this up and hopefully the water should come out and what we want is, is that it's about at, at 500 mils which is this one here. That's it, perfect. So the water's tepid, you know, just warm, not too cold. The kit doesn't look too difficult to use, but how would it work in practice? Well, Judy, who's a uh, who's been irrigating for a while, has agreed to do uh, a short DVD of her irrigating, and the Colostomy Association has videoed that. So we'll take a look at that, and then we'll have a chat afterwards. Okay. I was really fortunate. I had a lovely stoma nurse who came to visit me here at home and told me about irrigation prior to my operation. So um, that was really good. That gave me something to look forward to in, in, in the future post-operatively. All I would say to anybody that is going to irrigate for the first time, once you've learned how to do it, relax. Keep nice and still, nice and relaxed, good posture, and it, it will work for you. If it doesn't work the first time, don't give up. Persevere. If it doesn't work the next day, try again. But if you relax, I promise you it will work, and there, it will give you a good life after a stoma. So, Helen, we've watched the DVD. How do you feel about irrigation now we've seen it? I think now that I've seen somebody actually doing irrigation, I feel a lot more confident about trying it for myself. Good. Once I started irrigation, absolutely fantastic. Took all my fears away. You could have a bath or a shave or a shower without having to wear anything. And ever since that day, I've irrigated and been highly satisfied, had loads of holidays, ski holidays and, uh, and everywhere and I, I just absolutely would, don't know how to manage or cope with my life if I hadn't done irrigation. I think it was the same for me, I was keen to start pretty much straight away, started about three months after I got my stoma, but the difference mentally was huge. Yes, I could go to work, change the bag and it wasn't a big deal, but it was always on my mind, you know. And to suddenly realise that actually 23 hours a day free, I could forget about it. Mm. And it just, it really did change my life for the better. When I started, started a support group, I met Doug. And Doug said to me, try irrigation. And it's been a complete change to the way I operate in the daytime. I don't have to worry about it. it it's clean and everything about it makes it my life a lot better. I can't, I'd never want to go back. As much as I accepted I had to wear a bag, and I had to accept that because I hadn't had the help, but going on to irrigation really did change my life. I think with me being a full-time student and studying and being quite young and active, I think irrigation has given me a much better quality of life to allow me to do these things without having to carry around five or six bags and having to worry about you know, finding toilets when I'm out in public. Mm -hmm. It just gives me the freedom when I'm almost finished with my irrigation, I'll often pop down to the local paper shop with my rear sleeves still on to get paper <laughs> on my bike. <laughs> Many times, yeah.